This is my third time trying to film this video. <laughs> What's up you guys welcome back to my channel um i'm not gonna do the video thing today but um it's your girl nasia g also known as glam is t and if you're new here then welcome to the glam fam y'all if you're an og subscriber then thank you so much for supporting me this video is going to be a little bit different um compared to my other videos you guys have seen me do beauty hair lifestyle becoming an aka big things in my life um and this is a part of me that i have never really you know shared with you guys but it's been on my heart so with that being said i'm going to start this video a little different and i'm going to start it out with a prayer so if you're watching please join me um father god as i come before you right now bowing to your knees and thanking you and praising you for another day father god sit me down and you stand up you speak through me let this message be clear and precise and let it help someone out there who may be hurting or have been through things that i have been through similarly lord god with that being said, I hope that you protect everyone watching this video with everything going on. Shield them from any hurt, harm, and danger, Lord God. Keep me covered in the precious blood in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Um, so that alone is different for my channel. So this video is going to be my walk with Christ, my faith walk, um, my, my, my journey or my understanding or my becoming, whatever you want to really call it. Um, just because this is a video, like I said, that God has put on my heart to share with you guys and I'm going to do so. Um, he's given me the courage, so I'm doing it. Um, I guess we can start out saying I grew up in the church. My grandfather was a deacon and my grandmother was a deaconess. Um, and then my mom later on became a minister um, in the church. And I always knew... God, I don't think I ever felt like I didn't know who he was or did I never didn't, but never did not believe in, in God or a higher power or being. Um, but we all have those questions. So I'll start with my mom getting sick. And I may have been in the fifth grade and I just knew my mom was sick. And that was really the gist of it. But I always questioned why. Why would God give someone so deserving of happiness so deserving of love this illness and at the time i didn't understand it um and i don't think we understand it as a fa understood it as a family we just i just thought my mom's gonna have surgery and then go back to how we were, were living our lives and life has not been the same since that that since the cancer um and she it's funny how she found out she hit her leg in church praising god and she hit it and the next day it was like swollen and hot. It was hot. So she went into the emergency room and um, they said, you know, maybe a sprain or something, you know, stay off of it, da da da. And then later on she got a call and they were like, come back in. And the emergency room don't make house calls, y'all. So that was really how we found it. And it was funny because she was scheduled to go into surgery maybe two weeks out for something totally different. Um, so that why question had been a theme in my life from then carried on into pretty much my adulthood. Um, so, you know, I went through middle school with a mom who was sick. Um, and if you have a parent who has been sick or a grandparent, it's not easy, um, especially being a kid because kids have questions and we don't understand exactly what's going on. It's, you know, life life just hits you. And it hit me hard really young. So I grew up, uh, I grew up really fast compared to some of my other classmates and peers. Um, but it, I was, in my mind, I thought, okay, I'm okay. Um, now that I'm older looking back, no. And I'm also gonna touch on a little bit of childhood trauma in this video. So if it is triggering to anyone, I really, really do apologize. Um, fast forwarding to high school. High school was okay. Um, I grew up in a, a middle class family. We never went without. We always had things, you know. Um, I always had new clothes and, you know, food and, you know, just things that anyone would need to survive. Um, but things did change once my mom got sick. So, fast forwarding to high school when another, I had another moment of just falling to my knees and asking God why I was. My senior year, my house burned down. Um... And I'm not gonna get emotional. That is still something that is very 
hard to talk about to today i was sleeping you know before cheerleading practice i was a cheerleader and all i remember is the house is on fire and i jumped up and i got dressed and i got out the house and all i can ask is god why why would you take something like this from us that was the house my grandparents brought when they came over from georgia um so that was the family house and it was inflamed um everyone got out the house safely i thank god for that but that night i was talking to my big brother who had lived with us um but he wasn't home at the time um and i was crying and i was angry and i was just like why and he was like, oh, it, it, it's not that bad, you know, da, da, da. and I had started spilling off different emotions and feelings that I had been feeling for so long um, because we grew up in the same household, but we're eight years apart. So if I was 10, he was 18. That alone changed the dynamic of the household and the relationship that I had with my mom and seeing her go through different things with her illness versus him because he was away at school. Um, so that alone, you know, it, it, there was a difference. So when I started spilling off these emotions and why would God do this? And I'm angry at this and I'm hurt by this and I'm so sad and I'm so broken. And I just remember him embracing me and him saying like, I'm sorry. He was apologizing not because of the things I had been through because we can't control that, but he was apologizing because he hadn't noticed it. Um, and that's because I was so good at masking it. I was always the hard child, the mean child. I got that a lot growing up and I, it always bothered me because I didn't think I was mean. I was just a lot harder than a lot of people growing up around me because they didn't have to deal with or see the things that I, they saw, I saw at such a young age. Um, so there was that and y'all, that was a trying time. Like we were practically homeless. Like, and you question God, why is this happening? God, are you going to make a way? God, is this what you have for me? Um, and he made a way like he always does. And my senior year is when I really, really adapted to the, the, the scripture, Romans 818. That's my tattoo. Um, and I sat with this tattoo for a while, but this scripture was my senior year quote. Um, and it basically says nothing, nothing can compare to the, mm, N everything that happens basically cannot compare to the joy that is coming and that was my scripture because at that point at 18 17 i thought okay life can only literally get better i had been through an absentee father i had been through my mom fighting through cancer i saw her hurt i saw her broken i i had dealt with being alone at that at, at only that age like i thought it could only get better and I promise this is not a sad stop story. It gets better. Um, but then fast forward to my senior year. I mean, my freshman year at Bridgeport. Uh, my mom came to visit me one day in Connecticut. And we spent the whole day together. And she brought my grandma and my aunt. And it was a good day. I was excited to see them because I had been away from home. This is my first time living away from home ever, really. Um, but I was okay, I think, for the most part. But at the end of the visit, my mom looks at me. She's like, you know I love you. I'm so proud of you. This, that, and the third. And I want you to be strong. And I'm like okay and she goes well they figured out what was wrong i have lupus and i said okay you know she reassured me we're gonna be okay we're gonna be okay and i'm like yeah we are we're all we always are like that's been the thing we always are okay but i remember going to my dorm room and i don't think my roommate was there but i remember crying and crying and crying out to god why <laughs> why why do, why don't things keep happening to us to me to my family why um so it was hard being away from her and that's when i really started to read my bible that's when i really started to pray and ask god not why but make me stronger heal me guide my feet hold my hands and show me the way Lord um, which is a prayer that I still say today and it was helpful having a roommate who believed in God and we had friends who believed in God and so we would always sit down and have these talks you know about faith and him making a way and you know I left I ended up leaving Bridgeport and it was nobody that but God that I got into Keen the way I did my recommitment came I'll, I'll say that because I was baptized years ago 
my recommitment really came I want to say my junior year of college um, and I remember sitting in my car crying <laughs> I cried a lot I cried a lot crying and asking God what is it why me why has my life been so hard why have I experienced the things I have why have you given me these battles to to buck up against at 17 at 18 at 19 like why god like people my age haven't even seen half the things i have seen at this age and i just didn't understand um and now i i i think i have a slight understanding i'm not gonna sit up here and preach like i have this worldly understanding but i understand now that everything he brought he took me through made me to the person i am today it has groomed me to be this woman I am today. And I would, I, I'm not gonna sit up here and pretend like, oh, it was the easiest thing. I'm not gonna pretend like, oh, I would wanna do it again. But I now thank him for bringing me this far. Like, a lot of the times I sit and I cry because that is one way I can express myself when it comes to the Lord is I just, I let them tears flow. I say, thank you. Uttering the words, thank you to God means so much to me because it was nobody but him for so many different reasons in my life. Um, I could have been totally out of the way. Like I could have been pregnant really young. I could have been partying and drinking. And, yeah, I could have gotten into There's so many different things where I look back and I'm like, that was nobody but God. And for that, I'm so thankful. Um, as I take this journey, this is not a journey that I'm completing now. This is going to be the start of a new journey that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, just walking in my faith and believing that God has something better for me because I know that it's nobody but him. I was running. I've been, I was running. I was like, I am not doing that. I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm running. And I'm not saying I was running away from God or running away from my calling or running away from the word, but I was running because I didn't want that responsibility. I was running because I didn't want to be that person. I wanted to be normal, normal, whatever that is. I wanted to not be the person who could see spirits and feel spirits and always preaching when it came to the friends. Like all my friends would be like, oh, here she goes. She preaching again. That was always me. And I never understood why. But after that, I was like, no, because I was running. And I stopped running a while back um, and just decided to give God all of me and put my faith in him with it within whatever it is um so a lot of times i'm just like all right god go make a way i learned to stop stressing although i'm human i still overthink i still stress sometimes but it's like god gonna do it i look back at my college career and it was nobody but him there were days i didn't know i was gonna pay my tuition there were days where I felt like I was wasting my time. There was days when I was ready to give up. There was times when family things overwhelmed me and I'm just like, I can't do this in school, but it was nobody but him. Um, so I know my God is real. I know my faith is real. There's no way you can, the faith of a mustard seed is all you need. And I have that mustard seed times 10 at this point because God has given me the faith because I know without him, I can't do it. I just can't. I cannot do it. I can't be me. So with that being said, I felt it on my heart to share this with you guys um, because I want to change the pace of my channel just a little bit. I still want to do some beauty. I still want to do some lifestyle. I do. I, I just want to take this journey and this, faith, this step with you guys. Understand that God's still working on me. Okay? Because I hate when people question people's faith because they don't live exactly how every christian in the whole world has lived um and one thing i'm never going to do on this channel is argue about politics or religion whatever you believe is what you believe and that is okay um so this is an open space so if you believe something differently then you are more than welcome to ask me questions or teach me things in the comments please teach me things i would love to hear from you guys um but i'm never going to argue why oh my gosh she she's she says she's a christian but she she was out drinking she had a drink oh guys we're not doing that on this channel i'm 24 years old i still have a lot to learn a lot to live through um um 
to grow in Christ and grow in faith. So please don't, don't do it. Like, oh my gosh, she says she's a Christian, but she cursed. Oh my God, she's a Christian, but she, she was at a party. We're not doing that on this channel. This is just literally how I came to trust, trust in God and put my faith in him. My faith has always been in him from the, from, from, from that little girl asking God why that's when my faith kicked in and I understood but it really it really hit me now that I should share with you guys and here I am sharing um so thank you if you're going to come on this journey with me I pray that my journey helps you I pray that if you are hurting or healing from anything that you get something from my videos and that if you feel comfortable enough um to share them with me then share them all my socials are down below so you can always direct message me and tell me different things or you know say different things if you are a child who went through a dramatic experience dealing with a parent who was sick or you know around dramatic experiences such as an absentee father you know let me know you know i'm here to talk to you guys i would love to really engage with you guys when it comes to that um because talking about it can be helpful um, with that being said, I'm also excited to go to therapy. I'm going to therapy. That is going to be on my next six months goal list. Um, I do monthly goals. If you guys do monthly goals or yearly goals, please let me know. I just started doing monthly goals. Um, and one of my goals, not for this month, but for September, is to find a black therapist. So I'm really excited to, for that too. For me, I mean, I love that for me. <laughs> to go to therapy and just unpack some things. Like we all have those moments where like i'm okay but you, you can everyone can benefit from therapy i don't believe that no one no one can't everybody can go to therapy talk about anything at this point just go get you know that time to, to understand yourself and then understand the people around you and how to love them better that's my biggest thing i want to love me for me i want to be a better person for my husband or my future husband wherever he may be um uh, my family my loved ones around me i want that for them so this is where i'm at this is my faith wall. Join me if you are ready or if you are wanting to learn or you are feeling lost. Join me on my faith walk. That's what we're calling it. We're calling it, we're calling it the faith walk because it's nobody but him. My next steps, my, my future, it's all up to him. If you are excited with me, smash the like button. Um, if you are ready to join the faith walk the glam family um then you are more than welcome i'm so excited and surprised that i had the courage to do this with you guys um but i think this is what i've been called to do i'm still going to vlog day to day i'm still going to do some beauty here and there get ready with me my get ready with me get ready with me yeah my get ready with me maybe bible study you never know at this point on this channel you may get you know a prayer before you know anything at this point i always pray before i film but now you guys may get a prayer before anything at this point you know but that's just how i live my life before i get in my car and drive off i pray and these are things that i've never shown you guys because i felt like oh my gosh like they don't want to see that like and god's like again don't tell me what you're not gonna do show them your faith show them how you believe show them how you're taking this journey and you're going about it your way that is the thing that i want to show in my videos i'm going about it my own way but trust that i am believing in him every step of the way and i hope you guys take this journey with me but i think that is all for this video um Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you are already not. Let me know down below, you know, how are you feeling when it comes to your faith? If you have a faith, if you have a different faith, then you're more than welcome to let me know as well. Um, but like I said, we're keeping it positive. We're not questioning. We're not We're not belittling. We're not doing that. We're, we're going to teach each other on this channel. I want you guys to teach me different things. I want to be able to teach you guys different things. And as the channel grows, as the Glam Fam glow, grows, we are going to also grow in Christ. So that is it for this video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. That's not changing. I love you guys so, 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 so much.
that's just always i love you guys like if no one if no one else has told you today or yesterday or if you have not heard it enough i love you and that is because we all need love we may think we don't but we all need love Let me go my head. <laughs> we all need love so i love you guys so 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 much i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.